Five mistakes you should not make when studying your world. In the old days when step one used to be a scored exam, I scored 271. And I know you don't care much about the step one score anymore because it's pass fail, but getting an advice from someone who scored high can give you an insight on how you can ace your exam. Before we start, if you need free access to our USMLE resources, or one-on-one -on -one help from a USMLE tutor, check out the links that I'll leave in the description of this video. Starting UWorld late is the first mistake I see many students make. That's why when I get asked, when should I start studying UWorld for my step one or step two CK exam, I say as early as you can. Because especially with step one becoming pass fail, you don't need to become the world expert in immunology and physiology and biochemistry. You just need to master the concepts that are commonly tested on the exam. And these topics are covered very well in the UWorld question bag. So in my opinion, even if you don't have a very strong background from your medical school about the topics of step one, you can still start with UWorld and study the explanations very well and you'd be able to understand most of the concepts in the explanation. And if you have any difficulty understanding certain parts of it, you can ask ChatGPT, you can search for a picture online, but UWorld does a good job in explaining the concepts even if you're a beginner for that topic. Also their images and tables help facilitate understanding these concepts even if you're not familiar with it or you don't have a strong background about it. And after doing all that, if you're still having difficulty with certain concepts, I recommend you get a USMLE tutor. Because yes, you can go ahead and study a whole book uh, about one of these topics to make you understand the UWorld explanation, but that's gonna take you a ton of time. So instead of wasting a whole year studying additional resources, you'd rather get a USMLE tutor who can help you with these difficult concepts that you're facing, and that would save you so much time. And if you wanna check out our USMLE tutoring service, it's 100% satisfaction guarantee, which means if you're not happy, we give you your money back, no questions asked. And I'll leave the link for it in the card above and in the description below. But again, the USMLE tutor should be your second line after you try Googling, asking ChatGPT, uh, maybe reading something from your medical school textbook that you remember explained that concept because when it comes to studying the step one exam efficiency is as important as retaining the information and another misconception when it comes to this first point i'm talking about which is starting your world late is that your world is an assessment question bank and i don't believe that it's an assessment question bank i believe more of your world as a study tool rather than an assessment tool and I have a full video that talks about assessment tools such as MBME, UWorld self-assessments, the sample from the USMLE itself. But I don't think you should use UWorld as an assessment tool. And one of the downsides that you'll face when you use UWorld as your early study resource is I don't know the answer to most of these questions. Uh, I'm scoring 10% of all these questions I'm solving and I think that's fine. Again, remember now you're just studying. So you should not care at all about how much you're scoring. What matters here is how much you're learning. So don't get disappointed at all by your score or how much you're knowing or not. The percentage of correct answers will increase with time as you study more explanation and as you learn more. The second mistake I see students commonly make is studying your world in a tutor mode, not timed mode. Which means when you go and solve the explanation, some students solve the explanation, take their time, it's not timed at all, they read the explanation afterwards and then they go on to the next question. And I totally understand that solving the questions in an exam style, the timed mode, is much more stressful than doing it in the tutor mode. But the whole point of you preparing for your exam is to simulate the exam as much as you can. So I want you to endure that stress of the exam so when the real exam comes in, you've already practiced that so many times and it's not stressful at all. So I would like you when you study your world at the beginning of the day that you actually solve a block of your world like you would solve a block of the exam. So 40 questions, one hour, you dedicate that hour and even if you missed questions, even if you didn't have time for certain questions, you simulate the exam. So you would have that stamina to sit for one continuous hours, no distractions, trying to solve as many questions as you can and see how much time you're missing. Are you good on time? Do you need to read the questions faster? And as you practice more and more every day, you're gonna be faster in reading the questions. You won't be stressed as much when you're having to solve 40 questions in one hour and the real exam becomes easier. And then after you solve one to two blocks a day, you start studying the explanations. I'm not saying solve the questions in an exam style and don't read the explanations. After you're done, let's say you solved uh, two blocks this, this morning, uh, you spend two hours solving these uh, questions, these 80 questions, 
and then you spend the rest of the day studying these questions, studying the explanation. The third mistake, and I'm actually not gonna call it a mistake, I'm gonna call it more of a preference, is studying UWorld in a random versus system-wise manner. And for those who are not familiar with what that means, when you go and solve that block of UWorld I told you about, uh, do you study random questions, one question in cardiology, one GI, which is a feature you can do in your world, versus you study 40 questions of only cardiology. You, then you finish cardiology, then you, you move on, let's say, to GI or infectious disease. You finish IM, you go to surgery. You finish biochemistry, you go to microbiology. So you move on with these blocks and you're studying in a system-wise manner versus just random questions. And in my opinion, it's better when you're studying your world when you're using it as a study resource early on in your studying is to study it in a system wise manner and the reason for that is when you study question from cardiology about heart failure and then the next block you see a different angle of that question it would be easier for you to compare and contrast different presentation different ways a question was asked compared to getting a question from GI and then the next one about cardiology and then when it comes to another cardiology question that is similar to the first one you encountered, it might be weeks before that happens. So your ability to synthesize and put things together would not be as good as if you just studied the system together. But those who prefer to study in a random manner say, well, the exam is gonna be in a random style. So we should solve the questions in a random style as well. And I think that's a fair point. However, now we are studying. So the goal is to compare and understand the concept as much as you can. And then you will have later on multiple assessment tools like MBME, you also have assessments, the sample to test your ability to do random style questions. And I and many people who studied the U world in a system wise manner had no problem at all. There was not even an adjustment period for studying, for solving questions in a random style manner. The fourth mistake I see some students make, which is the explanation and the choices of your world. Because some people are in the mentality of studying your world as an assessment tool, not a study tool. They glance quickly over the explanation or they only read the educational objective and they don't study the explanation. Remember, the purpose of your world is not only to know whether you answered the question correctly or not, but to comprehend everything that is in the explanation and more importantly, know why the other questions were wrong. For example, in a question about dementia, it's very important to understand why the answer to this question was Alzheimer, not vascular dementia or Parkinson. And when they explain these options and choices to you, they tell you why in the presentation, this would not fit a vascular dementia or Parkinson. So building that differential diagnosis might help you answer a question on the exam that is not necessarily the same question that you were asked about in UWorld. Because remember, you won't get the exact same questions as UWorld, but you will get that knowledge that is in the explanation. So they might ask you in UWorld about uh, the presentation of the disease and they explain the management of that disease in the explanation. And in the exam, you don't get asked about the presentation, you get asked about the management. So that's why understanding the explanation very well and understanding why the other choices were wrong is very important in having you score high on the exam. And the final mistake I want to talk about today is cruising through UWorld without having a system to review this information. Now UWorld for step one is over 3600 questions, for step two over 4200 questions and for step three over 2100 questions. And I keep updating these numbers every time I make a video about UWorld because they keep adding questions. So do you think you'll be able to study these 3600 questions very well with the explanation and then go back and review the whole question bank? Also, once you went through the question bank once, you would lose the value of repeating the question bank and trying to solve the questions because you already read the answer a few months back. So there is not much value of trying to just repeat solving the questions, but there is value in reviewing the information in these questions. But if you did not build any system to review this information, you would have to go through the explanation of over 3600 questions, which is extremely time consuming. That's why I recommend you build your reviewing system very early on with the first UWorld question that you solve. I'm not a big advocate of sitting and writing pages and pages of information because that's very time consuming. So what you can do is do an electronic version of that. And UWorld allows you to copy paste uh, pieces of information or even pictures and tables into their own 
notebook and you can also build flashcards using new world and you can use these to review after you go through the first round of new world and you will become more efficient in the way you put information in and that's also a value of doing a system based model because if you just study the question about heart failure and then you went to study a similar question you would not repeat the same notes about this disease you'd only put the new things and another tip when it comes to that is make sure you block enough time not only to solve the questions but to review this information you took from your first round of studying and as i said if you have any difficulty understanding certain concepts of your world or the step one materials we have an amazing list of expert usmle tutors who are ready to help you and they can also help you build the study plan study schedule help you pick the best resources for your goals and because our goal is to help you we made these services 100% satisfaction guarantee, which means if you do your session, you're not happy with it, we give you your money back, no questions asked. But we are very confident that you'll be very satisfied with the tutoring as so many of our students who tried it. And I'll leave the link for our USMLE tutoring page in the card above and the description below so you can go ahead, check it out. And if you'd like to talk to our customer support team, you can schedule a free consultation and they can help you navigate the different packages we have and how we can best help you. And as I promised you in the beginning, if you'd like to get access to our free USMLE resources, sign up through the link that I'll leave in the card above and in the description below, put your email and name, and you will get these resources delivered to your inbox fully for free. If you find any value in this video, I would really appreciate it if you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell sign so you get notified whenever I post future videos on my YouTube channel. Before you go, make sure to watch the video that I recorded on how to study step one in four months and you can watch it by clicking here. Thank you everyone so much for watching and good luck on your exam.